What's the best way to get to know a protein? From a teaching standpoint, it's really, really important that students be able to touch, feel, see, embrace, if you like, uh, these proteins. Proteins are the workhorses of cells. With support from the National Science Foundation, University of Arkansas biochemist James Hinton researches their structure and function. About five years ago, Hinton focused on creating a dramatically better way of displaying the inner workings of proteins. Kids are visual people nowadays, and so I began to look around for ways of actually visualizing three-dimensional structures. Hinton worked with the visualization company Vertalis to use virtual reality to show how proteins function, interacting with everything from DNA to a flu virus. With 3D glasses and a huge screen, students and professors can interact with proteins. One of the things that pharmaceutical companies are vitally interested in these days is how do you take a protein that causes a disease, causes a problem, and devise ways of deactivating the protein? Pharmaceutical companies must go beyond just creating drugs. They must also be able to update them as the pathogens they are designed to treat, mutate, and evolve. You trick them for a while, and then they modify themselves so that the old drug no longer works. To be able to see the binding site before you go into the laboratory and begin to make modifications in your drug or drugs is a very, very important thing. The tool is now in wide use internationally. Paul Adams uses it for cancer research. Using immersive technology, and boy, let me tell you, it, it br really brings the point home um, in three dimensions as opposed to, again, using just a regular uh, computer. Hinton says virtual reality is a great way to entice young scientists. Seeing them have fun is a great joy, because you feel maybe one out of these hundred or so kids will say, well, biochemistry or hmm, chemistry, maybe I'd like that. Hinton has certainly done his part, helping scientists understand the complicated world of proteins by reaching out to touch one. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.